Okay, so now what we have laid out in front of us is the power glove. But it's not so much the glove itself that you worked on as it is this little plastic box doohickey thing in here. Basically what this box is, is uh, it's an interface that you plug the power glove into, the old school Nintendo power glove. There's and, the Nintendo uh, port right there. Yep, and it converts uh, position information from the glove to MIDI and sends it um, to other instruments, mm -hmm. and in our case, also the speak and spell. Nice. Now, okay, you've got like a thousand different ports on here, so I was just wondering, like, obviously this is Nintendo. This is obviously MIDI out. Now, we've got this little thing here, and this here, and that there. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> well, this box is like uh, pretty hacked up. Um, it used to be a... Uh, oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be an actual like turbo add-on box for uh, the old NES that I had when I was a kid. Anyway, um, the actual processor inside here is a PIC microcontroller, which That's is pretty common. You guys right. might have used it in other projects. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a... In addition to the MIDI and the Nintendo, there's a programming port that lets me update the code. Um, which is this right here. Running in the... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's running in the microcontroller. Uh, there's a power port, and there's yeah. uh, in my case, I actually also have a serial port on here um, that I used when I was debugging and making sure that I was getting my power glove messages okay. All right. Uh, this wasn't originally, like you said, designed for. <laughs> no, no. This circuit is pretty hacked up too. This is actually a completely different uh, PIC circuit that I'd used for a different project, and I just sort of. Uh, I put the whole circuit board from the other project inside this box and wired everything to it, so it looks like a, it looks like a real mess. But I will, uh, I'll get a schematic for you guys for your website, so, so you it'll can, make a little uh, bit more sense. Be clearer for everybody. Okay, that's cool because you've got like the serial port to nowhere, nowhere right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of hanging out. Okay, so this translates data. Now, what what's generating the data from the power glove? How does that work? The power glove actually generates the data. Um, the power glove is in two parts. There's uh, the glove itself, and there's a mm -hmm. sensor array. Okay. And the way the glove works is it measures the position of the glove itself relative to the sensor array, which is ultrasonic. So it just does these distance measurements. Um, there's basically a computer in the glove, triangulates where it is from the distance measurements, and puts together this uh, packet called a high-res mode packet. Um, the glove can output a lot of different kinds of data, but we're interested in the high-res 3D position data. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically what the interface does is it finds um, the X, Y, and Z position of the glove in that high-res packet and converts that, in the case of our demo today, just into MIDI notes, but it can convert it into any kind of data that can be sent across the MIDI cable. So we could control synthesizers, we could uh, control performance parameters, we can control mm -hmm. lighting with it, and we can do anything performance that, art installations. Nice. So anything that you could ever do on a MIDI network, you can do with the glove? You can have it, well, in our case, we can program the, the uh, microcontroller in the interface to do whatever we want yeah. with the information. Okay, so you've shown us how the power glove works and how we get MIDI from that, and how we get MIDI from the speak and spell. But at this point, can you show us how everything works when it goes, comes together and makes a big happy MIDI circle? Sure, we'll take a look at that now. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so now we've got everything hooked together, and right now what you're looking at in his lap, if you're looking at his lap, is a MIDI instrument. This is actually a MIDI musical instrument right here, and this has been plugged into the speak and spell and ran through the sound system in here. So if we were to hit a key, say that one we are now hearing the speak and spell like bits and pieces from the rom playing through the stereo so there you like this is basically the first half of our uh glove to mm -hmm. speak and spell crossover project this is the first half of it here this is getting the speak and spell to actually uh make some noise from some MIDI data. Yeah, to actually interface with the MIDI and for that whole, that side of the plane to come together. And I love it when a plane comes together. I mean, like, this is really exciting, though. We've been sitting here playing with it, and it's so much fun. <laughs> you know? 
my uh, internal four-year-old is pretty ecstatic with this whole project. <laughs> it's like a giant toy. It is a big toy. Giant 80s like throwback toy. Which has been melded together with modern day equipment. <laughs> but that's just so much fun. So should we take a look at the glove part? Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that. And so since we've got a musical device making funky sounds, now we're going to take an oddball device and actually play back musical notes. Yep. All right, let's go hook that thing up, and then we'll have one big MIDI-heavy plant come together, and it will be so nice. Mm -hmm. 